at some point in this video, I might end up calling you a complete idiot. And if I do, it's because you deserve to be called that. <laughs> hey there, welcome to Aphrodaddy. Now, if you're the kind of person that watches these kinds of parenting videos, you know one thing for certain, parenting is hard. But despite that fact, there's actually a lot of things that parents can get away with. You know, things that you can let slide a bit. For instance, telling bad jokes. Listen, I regularly come into contact with another human being's feces, so I've earned the right to tell a bad joke every now and then. And besides that, I'm really tired. I don't have the energy to think of a clever joke. Or there's a thing that a lot of parents take really seriously, correctly so, their kids' diets. But if you're driving past McDonald's and your kids are screaming because they're so hungry, I think it's okay to get them the occasional cheeseburger. Not the end of the world. Parents are also allowed to be a little bit loose when it comes to telling the time. So yeah, kid, bedtime is right now. Wink. Did I just wink and say wink? And speaking of bedtime, when you're reading that bedtime story that you've read a thousand times before, if you want to get to the end, you don't have to read every page. I mean, they don't really know the difference. I mean, unless they're like 16, in which case reading bedtime stories is weird anyway, right? And here's one that we're actually going to be encountering pretty soon with our second kid. It's his first birthday and his party isn't actually going to be anywhere near the day, but he's turning one. He's not gonna know the difference. That's right, parents. With all of these things, you are officially off the hook. Just let them slide. Of course, there's a lot of things that you can't let slide as a parent. That's what makes it so difficult. But one major thing that is super important is car safety. So I'm really excited to be part of the car seat full stop movement. It's a campaign where a whole bunch of us bloggers and vloggers are getting together and in one very loud voice shouting proudly, hey you, idiot, strap your kid in the seat. Because despite the fact that it's 2016, there are still people who are not strapping their kids into the right car seat. And I need to tell you, if you are one of those parents, I know, it's hard sometimes when your kid is throwing a tantrum in the parking lot because he really doesn't want to go into his car seat. But this is one of those times when you have to be a parent and put your kid in there. If you don't, then yes, you're the idiot. I know I might be coming across a little bit harsh right now, and I really am trying to be understanding, but come on, we know how badly accidents go for children. And if you love them, you want to protect them. And if you want to protect them, you'll strap them in the car seats. I mean, even Thomas the Tank Engine's judging you. I know Thomas, don't worry, I'll, I'll set them straight. There is loads more information available to you about child safety and car seats at carseatfullstop.org. There's also some wonderful pieces written by other bloggers from across the country about this very subject. So go check it out. It's worth reading. So hey, just before I go, I've got some really exciting news. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you would know that adoption is really close to my heart uh, because obviously I adopted my first son. But today I discovered that one of my friends is joining the fold of dads who have adopted. This guy, Garishenk, is going to be picking up his son in like a week's time. That is so exciting. Gareth and Joe, your wife. That is awesome news. Ugh. Anyway, that's enough from me. I'll see you soon. Aphrodite out.